about 5 equals 42 divided by 5 uh, 5 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 equals that was quite the entrance here yeah you know I'm gonna give you something a little more special to look at or I might have overslept a little bit <laughs> I'm gonna oversleep tomorrow tomorrow you oh, forgot, didn't no, you? No, I remember. No, I'm sorry. I've just been really busy with other things, but I, we're good for tomorrow. Mm. since day one. How did you get in here? Just get oh, back. Oh, come on. Get out of my house. What are you doing? Get what are you doing, house? man? Get out of here. Go. Oh, my God. I have to go to bed. Don't forget to lock the door. There's some crazy people out there. Leave me alone. It's okay. I've got you. Oh, thank God. It's just a dream. No. No, it wasn't. <laughs> How do you like your eggs, huh? Over easy, scrambled. You're only gonna get one, though. That's all there is in this shitty little apartment of yours. All right, enough of this. Who are you? What do you want from me? Why don't you leave me alone? You ever get anxious, kiddo? You know, that rumbling feeling in your stomach. That unstoppable shake in your leg. That is all me, baby. That's me messing around in your head, making you lose all sense of your well-being. What the fuck? What the hell are you? Shut the fuck up. I'm losing my mind. I'm actually losing my mind. And apparently I'm seeing people now, so. I do not have time for this. I gotta work on my scholarship. Scholarship. Right. You really think that you have what it takes to get that scholarship money? I mean, you can barely even talk to that girl you like, let alone a group of people. Okay, first of all... Whoa, whoa, what are you doing? Why are you looking at me? I wish I wouldn't. Yo, what are you doing, man? You are so That's fucking so ugly. That's so weird. That's so weird, man. 
Just stop. You think I want to be here? You think I want to be here looking at that flat ass? How can you be fat and have no ass? Seriously. You ever consider doing squats? Jeez. This is insane. This is actually insane. Hey, how about some protein? Maybe it'll help with your small ass. Do you have your keys? Yes. How about your wallet? Yes. Maybe your phone? She would have lasted at least like three minutes, but damn, that is pathetic. Leave me alone. I'm not in the mood. Do you really think that you have a shot at this scholarship money? No, buddy. I mean, have you seen a good speech? Those people have something that you will never have. You got like what, three days tops? Oh, you are shit out of luck, pal. Wait, I've never seen a good speech. Maybe I should. I'm so sorry. I'm, like I, I'm messing with you. You're two minutes late. Stop being a moron. What are you looking at? Beautiful scenery. Wow, Ethan, you have more game than I thought you did. There's a lot that you don't know about me. Your lips look a little crusty, dude. I can smell your breath from here. You should back up. I mean, you don't really think you will get to kiss her? <laughs> she is so far out of your league, pal. Both know. Um, I'm not sure. I am so sorry. I, I don't get you, Ethan. When you actually like me, and you're not here just to waste my time, you know where to find me. Yeah. Oh, no. No, she's long gone. She's probably getting another guy's car. She's never coming back. But I won't leave her. Why are you doing this? It's my job. You know, all things considered, it did go better than I expected for you. Ethan? Buddy old pal. You can't ignore me. I'm here to stay. And there's nothing that you can do that's gonna stop that. Listen here, you little shit! Everything that you do goes wrong. 
that little speech of yours tonight, that date, it all fucks up because you fuck it up. What gives you the right? Who the hell do you think you are? You only have all this power over me because I let you have it. I'm not my deepest fears or my worst memories, so you can fuck off. You think you just tell me to fuck off and I'll go pack in my bags? That's not how this shit works. I tell you when you have a good day. I control you. I own you. Come on, fuck up. You think you can keep your back to me this whole fucking time? You're nothing. Yeah, you know what? You're a fucking coward. How dare you keep your back turned to me? You're nothing. You are nothing without me. I mean, look at you! You can't even wear a fucking sweater! You look ugly! Don't you ignore me! I might never get rid of you. At least I know it gives you your power. Now, excuse me, I have a speech. All right, Ethan, we're ready for you whenever you're ready. Okay, thank you. Whoa, 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 whoa. You don't think you're actually going in there, do you? <laughs> you are going to crash and burn at such an unrecoverable degree, buddy. Welcome, Ethan. This is just to remind you what's on the line here, a full scholarship to this university. So good luck and start whenever you're ready. Thank you, uh, esteemed fa faculty for being here, for seeing me today. Oh my God, get off the stage, dude. I know, uh... We're here to talk about my academic accomplishments and um, why I deserve the scholarship. But I'm, I'm not gonna do that today. There's much more to me than my accomplishments. Do you know that rumbling feeling in your stomach? The unstoppable shake in your leg. That's anxiety. We all deal with it in some way or form. As a student, I'm no stranger to the struggles of academic life. The constant stream of assignments, exams, and tests, and even the pursuit of happiness. These things can all create fertile ground for anxiety and self-doubt. Anxiety can paralyze us, hindering our focus, and it prevents us from reaching our full potential. There's a pressure that we put on ourselves to do the best, no matter what it is that we're doing. Get the best grades, get the best job. But this way of thinking can only sink us deeper in a hole of self-doubt. Let's talk about self-doubt. The negative narrative that we put on ourselves can be one of our greatest challenges in life. Overcoming anxiety and self-doubt requires a shift in perspective. Instead of worrying about where you tripped along the way and where you failed, you should think about where you succeeded in the face of adversity and these challenges. However, overcoming your inner struggles isn't something you should be doing alone. Having someone by your side that brings out the best in you can make a world of difference. Thank you. Very well spoken, Ethan. Thank you for coming in. Ooh, wow, yeah, I said some fucking words. Hey, 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 I'm talking to you. Where do you think you're going, huh? Oh, your speech went halfway decent. What the fucking do? Don't get a big head over yourself. <laughs> She's probably still mad at you. Maybe she is. What the fuck? Sophia. Ethan, what are you doing here? I... Okay, so 
Saturday, I'll pick you up at five. Okay. You know you never put on deodorant, right? And your breath stinks. <laughs> <laughs>